Hey cadets, today we'll be telling you everything you need to know about Bitcoin wallets and why it's important to have one. Maybe you're thinking, what kind of wallet should I get? A Gucci? A Louis Vuitton? Well, not exactly. Pay attention because after this video, you might think twice about keeping your Bitcoin on Coinbase. I'm Captain Crypto and welcome to Kryptonauts. Kryptonauts. Most of us consider it normal and necessary to have a bank account, but you'd be surprised how many people around the world do not have a bank account. According to the Global Findex database of 2017, 1.7 billion adults do not have access to a bank. They are known as the unbanked, and they are forced to live in an all-cash society. This becomes a problem because without access to a bank account, it's hard to send and store your money. A Bitcoin wallet has a similar function to a bank account. It allows you to send and receive Bitcoin and provides a secure place to store them. This means unbanked individuals can send money without having a bank account. So whoever has a Bitcoin wallet has access to a digital payment system. A Bitcoin wallet consists of a public key and a private key, but we'll talk more about this later. So wallets are used to send and receive Bitcoin. However, you can only send Bitcoins to Bitcoin wallets. If you try to send Ethereum to a Bitcoin wallet, it may be lost forever. Wallets are also used for storage. A Bitcoin wallet acts as a safe or vault. You can't get in unless you have the key, the private key. Eh, see what I did there? Let's take a look at the different types of wallets. A cold wallet is created offline. Think of the cold wallet as an ice cave in Antarctica. Because it is in such a remote location, cold wallets are extremely high in security. They are difficult to hack and are one of the safest havens for Bitcoin. They are a bit more complicated to use, making them lower in convenience. Cold wallets, also known as hardware wallets, are usually a USB drive or some type of hardware. Some examples are the Keep Key, Trezor, and Ledger Nano. Bitcoin wallets are also good for monitoring transactions on the blockchain. A blockchain is a public ledger that's run by a network of individual servers called nodes. For more information about the blockchain, check out our proof of work versus proof of stake video here. A hot wallet is a digital wallet that's always connected to the internet. Examples of hot wallets include desktop wallets, mobile wallets, and wallets that live on exchanges. Because these wallets are always online, sending Bitcoin is convenient. However, because the wallet is always online, it's more vulnerable to hacks, making it lower in security. According to an article by Cointelegraph, there was a new record of 12 exchange hacks in 2019. Of the exchanges, Binance was the most notable, garnering a loss of $40 million. So what's the solution to this? Don't keep your money on exchanges. Okay, so now we know that a digital wallet consists of a public key and a private key. But what are these things? Let's take a look. Think of a Bitcoin wallet as a mailbox, and think of the mail inside as the Bitcoins. Anyone with the address can send mail to the mailbox. Only the owner of the mailbox has the mailbox key. This is the key he uses to access the mail, or in our case, Bitcoins. The public key is the mailing address, and the private key is the key to the mailbox. When you create a new Bitcoin wallet, a new private key is generated. The private key then generates a public key. These two keys communicate with each other securely through something called cryptography. Whoever owns the private key owns the bitcoins. The best way to keep your private key safe is to write down the 12 word seed. But what on earth is that, you may ask? Hold on cadets, because we are about to dig deep. Your private key is a 64 character code that is quite difficult to memorize on its own. The geniuses who worked on the bitcoin network proposed a way to make it better. They broke down the characters into 12 sections. Then they assigned a word to each section to make it easier to remember. When you input the 12 words into your wallet, it automatically generates the 64 characters and gives you access to the mailbox. This is what we call the 12 word seed. Don't forget to write it down. So if you ever lose your wallet, you can simply enter the 12 words into the recovery option and voila, you're back in. All right, cadets, so what did we learn today? First, a wallet is used to send, store, and track your Bitcoin. Secondly, cold wallets are high in security and low in convenience. 
while hot wallets are high in convenience and low in security. Last but not least, a digital wallet consists of a public key and a private key. We hope you guys enjoyed this wallet keynote <laughs> and subscribe to our channel for videos. Do you guys have any topics you want us to cover for the next video? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, HODL. Secure your crypto and may Satoshi and Vitalik be with you always. Cryptonauts.